Hello YouTube, I'm Pamela Ware and I am back. Today I will be talking about having fear in my sport, for me. I recently have been super scared to do certain dives. Um, just little dives, we haven't, since we've come back, we haven't done anything big, just compulsories. And like five meter stuff, which I haven't done and I don't even know how long. Um, and I've just been, every time I do a dive, I just look at my teammates and be like, I'm scared. Why am I scared to do this? Like, it doesn't make sense. I've done it for 20 years and it's the easiest thing ever. Like, why am I scared? It doesn't make sense. And I honestly don't have an explanation for it, but it just happened. People think that because I do big dives and I am an Olympic athlete, and all that, that I'm not afraid to do things, that's not true. I did not get to where I am being unafraid of things. I am afraid of so many dives, so many little dives, so many big dives that I do. I think everyone in their sport is afraid of something. I'm actually gonna start with talking about twisting dives. Since I was young, I had so much trouble with twisting dives. I used to throw myself off the board and go in a little ball and try and twist, which obviously didn't work. <laughs> and then when I finally got the hang of it, I was able to do uh, no more than back one and a half twist or one twist forward. And now, I mean, I'm doing reverse one and a half with three and a half twists, which is a huge accomplishment for me because I never thought I'd be able to do that many twists. But there's one thing that no one knows is that I cannot do a front one and a half full twist. I competed it my whole junior year. I did it up until 2010, and in 2010, I don't know what happened, my mind blocked. It just blocked. My body forgot how to do it within seconds. My mind, every time I'd try and do it, I'd freeze. I'd be in the air, and I'd throw to do the twist, and I, my body would freeze. Um, and I've always tried to redo it, and always the same thing that happens. And finally, this week, I did it. And I was on the board and my coach goes, yo, you can do it, you can do it. I look at him and I start crying. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I cried for a front one and a half full twist, but I did it. I did it five times without balking and I'm so proud of myself because that is 10 years of struggling with a blockage that I finally, I let it go and I tried it again and it worked. So. I can't tell you how I did it. I can't tell you what was going through my mind. When I did it, I honestly just tried to clear my mind and clear everything that I was thinking to just let my body do the dive. For me, if I overthink things, it never goes well. And I think maybe that's why when I first blocked that I would always think, oh, but what if it happens again? What if it happens again? Oh, I can't do this dive. There's just so many things that went through my mind. And now I really just tried to clear everything, let everything go, and it worked. Yes, I cried. Yes, I was terrified. My body was shaking, but I did it. And I'm gonna try and do it again and again. And if it blocks again, it blocks again. But at least I am pushing through my fears, which I believe is so important in sport to do because if you don't push through your fears, you will never never get to where you need to go or where you want to go. Doing an acrobatic sport, a lot of people say, oh, you're fearless, you, you, you'll do anything, just do a backflip on the ground. No, I don't do that. Yes, I am afraid to do a backflip on the ground, which is weird because I do backflips my whole, like all day, every day, but to do it on the ground at a random time, I'm not gonna do that, I'm scared. And the amount of things that I do in my workouts, like on dry board and trampoline, they terrify me. I always look at my coach and I'm like, do I really have to do this? I'm like, what's the point of this? <laughs> Can I not do it? It's scary for me, like not knowing how I'm gonna land or being unsure of things scares me. It, it, it terrifies me, but I do it anyways. I push through my fears and when I do it, I just feel so proud and, and I feel relief and I'm like, oh, I can do this even though I'm scared to do it. And then I do it the next time and I'm less scared. And then I, more times I do it, I'm not scared. So, I mean, if I have any advice for anyone, anyone who wants advice, push through your fears. There's no point in holding yourself back and not trying something just because you're afraid. If you have a blockage, it could take some time. I understand that I went through it for 10 years, which is, for me mind-blowing because I never thought I would 
have a blockage and for me like I didn't consider it as a blockage because for me like I don't compete that dive so I don't need to do it but then I realize now that if I do that dive I will have more control in the harder dives I will have a better takeoff so that this is why I am pushing to do that but like I was saying push through your fears push through your blockages don't give up keep going push and honestly like you'll see in the end once you get do with things that you're afraid of you're just gonna feel so good about yourself you're gonna feel relief you're gonna be like oh it wasn't that scary after all <laughs> but you know just have fun with it have fun pushing through your fears and you know what it's all gonna be worth it so this was a super short video about me having fear in sport because i am sure that i am not the only one afraid to do things in any sport and in life so um everything that you've seen in this video all the dives all the flips everything i before doing them i told my coach i am afraid i don't want to do this i'm scared and he goes no you can do it it's fine so i did it i pushed through my fears and i know you guys can too so you guys gotta be with me and push through our fears and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just want to let you guys know that you're not alone. You're not the only ones that are afraid. And like, subscribe, and let me know what you think. And if you need any help pushing through your fears, maybe I can help. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>